Okay, mitosis or um, cell division. If you go right back to the very beginning of human life, all human life started off as a single cell called the zygote, and that consists of the egg cell with its nucleus and the nucleus of a sperm cell that would come in and fuse um, the, nu the nuclear material, the chromosomes would join together into one nucleus, and we'd call that new cell a zygote. Now, a zygote potentially contains all the genetic information to grow an entire new organism, obviously, because we all came from one originally. Now, when we think about growth, we tend to think about things getting bigger. In fact, what's happening is that this zygote cell will actually divide. So it divides into two, and then we get four cells, and then into eight cells, and this is the stage it usually looks. It's like a big ball of cells, sometimes called a blastula, you'll hear it called. Okay, so we've gone to the two cell stage, the four cell stage, the eight cell stage. At this stage, we can still take out any of these individual cells and we can grow a whole new organism. These are stem cells that can grow to a whole new organism. You may remember from um, way back in B1, doing this thing called PGD, pre-implantation genetic diagnosis, where you could take out one of these cells and test it for the presence of faulty genes like cystic fibrosis or um, Huntington's. So mitosis is part of this process where the cell divides. Really mitosis is just the bit where the genetic material is copied over, if you like, and, and is split into two. So we need to look um, a little bit more detail at mitosis. Do remember that that original zygote is going to contain a pair of chromosomes, one from each parent. So I'm just going to use, rather than the 23 pairs of chromosomes, I'm just going to be working with um, two pairs of chromosomes. I'm going to use a bit of colour just to make it stand out. So we're just going to have an organism with two pairs of chromosomes rather than 23, otherwise it gets very complicated very quickly. Okay, um, several steps to this. Now the first thing, I'm just going to uh, really exaggerate the nucleus here, uh, exaggerate it make it much bigger. Normally in a cell, um, the chromosomes are these long strands and they're all jumbled up and you can't really um, see very much happening. In fact you can't normally see chromosomes at all. They're too thin and they wouldn't be visible um, normally down a microscope. Now before we get to mitosis there is a couple of steps that come in. Now the whole thing's a cycle. Um, and I'm going to jump in at this step at the minute and what is happening here is the DNA, these chromosomes, will actually make copies of themselves. Now you won't see this happening under the microscope, but each of those long strands is starting to make a copy of itself. Now the next stage, and this is a bit more familiar to us, um, these chromosomes start to become visible. And what they've done, rather than being um, long threads, they've coiled round and round and round themselves. So they become much shorter and thicker and they become visible. And they also will start to appear as these two separate strands held together in the middle by what's called the centromere. So here we go, we've still got our two chromosomes, but now we can see that each of the chromosomes is made up of two pairs two strands held together, two identical copies of the chromosome held together in the middle. Notice as well that the nuclear membrane, the membrane surrounding the nucleus, disappears. If it didn't, the chromosomes would have no way to uh, be pulled apart, so that's an important step as well. Next thing, our chromosomes line up across the middle of the cell. There we go, or what's called the equator. You might see it drawn um, the other way around. Doesn't matter. Um, I'm just going to draw it this way for convenience. And at each end of the cell,
we get a structure formed which it's almost like puppet strings isn't it uh, they're called centrioles and these things if you want the proper name if you want to be very scientific you don't need to remember this they're called spindle fibers I'm sure someone will want to know what it is um, they attach they attach at the middle point of those chromosomes pairs or the chromatid pairs this is each one of these is a chromosome it attaches the middle and it pulls apart so each of these pairs of chromatids gets pulled apart um, it's perhaps a little bit difficult to describe this as it pulls it imagine it like a, a little piece of string or something if you like pulling it apart so half of them go one way half of them go the other there we go and we end up back with two separate ends of the cell original four chromatid, uh, chromosome pairs, sorry. the nucleus oops, will reform around each separate one and this is called pinching, it pinches in at the middle, so it pinches in here and here until it goes all the way across and you end up with two new cells rather like uh, what happened up here. Okay. Now there's a little bit we've missed out here which is actually quite an important stage and it comes between um, these two stages if you notice here, and it's, it's not accident, we've got quite a large cell whereas here the two cells are a little bit smaller so in this stage each of these cells has to grow a little bit so in that missing stage we get cell growth only back to the original size and we get what's called the organelles copied. Now organelles are just the small bits of the cell again normally we don't see them, we certainly don't draw them um, back in Keyser 3 in, in year 7 um, but these are things like mitochondria for example um, chloroplasts would be copied over at this stage as well as two organelles you've come across before um, the cytoplasm would also be um, making more cytoplasm in order for it to grow and it's also in this stage remember that this bit the cell growth um, and the DNA being copied that isn't really part of mitosis mitosis is this bit where the chromosomes are separated so if you were to look at it as a bit of a clock face, the mitosis bit would only actually take quite a small proportion of the time the cell is actually doing anything. So there's the cell division, the rest of it is when it's growing and copying the DNA and just doing its normal cell stuff and it's only this small part of it where the cell is actually splitting the nucleus. Do remember as well that in um, mitosis the cells that are produced are identical and we would refer to them as daughter cells 